definitely one of the coolest features about Valley Forge. There are these awesome log huts that they built to make camp in the winter. Such iconic structures. It's a cold, breezy, early spring day. Nice and chilly, not quite as cold as George Washington's camp would have experienced. I'm at Valley Forge National Park, just outside Philadelphia, PA. See what kind of beauty this massive National Historical Park brings. All right, I honestly have no idea where I'm at to start this hike, but I'm taking a shot of this. Varnum's Quarters is where I've parked. So I'm hoping at some point I can make my way back here. Yeah, we'll go start this loop trail. And uh, hopefully at some point we make it back to Barnum's Quarters parking lot. This is the trail. Joseph Plum Martin. This loops all around a lot of the park here, some of the historical sites. It's no secret that Valley Forge played a fundamental role in the American Revolution and the founding of the United States. So as a lover of history, getting here for my first ever visit was very exciting. Like Gettysburg, Valley Forge is part of the national park system. Here's the namesake of the parking lot where I parked Varnum's Quarters. This must have been his house right here. Looks like he was a brigadier general. Yeah, so our first historical building is just off the trail. This is a pretty cool old house we got here. It's pretty cool. Barnum's Quarters is the first one. We're gonna keep moving because this is a trail, I believe, anywhere from four and a half to six or so miles. So we gotta keep moving. We just walked a couple hundred yards next to the road here, basically across this big open field. Exactly sure what this building is. It's like a church, church or a chapel. It's noisy next to this road. A lot of vehicular traffic through Valley Forge. bicycle traffic on this path as well. For the first mile or so, we've been hiking parallel to the road. It kind of runs around the park here. With this being a paved trail, we're able to wear more lightweight footwear made for walking or running. Any sort of lightweight trainer type of sneaker would probably be best. There are a lot of hills. Definitely expecting to go up and down in elevation. Hoping that this cuts away from the road, which it does appear to be doing just up here. And I can see the interstate and some big green signs, you know, about a mile away. So Valley Forge is a little slice of really fields, a few patches of woods tucked in the middle of a very suburban type of area outside of Philly. A 
we'll uh, keep heading on down the trail here, hoping that we'll get to our next historical site. It does look like the trail is just cutting away from the road to cut right back to the road. <laughs> but starting to go downhill. My guess is that where we parked was probably near the top of the elevation that we're looking at today and that maybe we're about to go down. I'm pretty sure we'll be coming back up a hill towards the end of this hike. Easy going so far. I see most people are really just out here to exercise um, and just enjoy some non-rainy weather. There's probably a lot of people here today because it did rain pretty ferociously at times yesterday and it would not have been a good day to visit the park so um, you'll have a lot of people who may have pushed off their visit from yesterday to today. We made it to what appears to be the main visitor center. If you're looking to get to the main entrance which my GPS did not take me to, you're actually going to be at a highway intersection up here. We're gonna just pass by the visitor center. Pretty cool old house. I love old buildings. strange to be in a national park yeah you can see you know big city type office buildings out in the distance kind of an eyesore when you look at a beautiful old stone building like this and you go across and see just the concrete jungle of suburbia This is definitely one of the coolest features about Valley Forge. There are these awesome log huts that they build in to make camp in the winter. Such iconic structures. And, you know, if you really, really think about it, you know, it's this type of craftsmanship and design that would have helped them survive and stay healthy enough to fight in the spring and eventually win the war and make this a free country. I think they're replicas, but they are pretty much spot on and they're beautiful. So this actually is right on the direct path of the trail. So that there's no need to go off trail to get to this really cool spot. Stepping into these cabins was like going back in time. To get a sense of the space the soldiers were quartered in puts a whole new perspective on this visit. And even though these are replicas, I felt fully immersed in the past. after sleeping on a bed like that. This gives you a great 
great idea of how close these guys were pretty much all night, pretty much all day, and how easy it would have been to spread a flu or any sort of sickness, viral sickness especially. And that's why there was a lot of disease. Hygiene was not like it is now. These guys didn't take care of each other. They didn't take care of themselves. Medicine was not advanced. Between the starvation and disease, they lost a lot of soldiers here at Valley Forge. As cool as these places are, I need to keep it moving down the trail here. Say goodbye to the village. Cold and windy out here. Gonna have to put my hood back up. Batten down the hatches. Ooh wee. Hiked about a mile or so from the main group of cabins and we've just gotten to another pair. These buildings are sort of spread out in different places throughout the park. Still moving across a big field here for the most part. I know it's one big loop, so might as well just keep moving down the loop. When reading about this hike online, I saw a few different numbers thrown around for distance. Turns out this trail is about five miles. We just came from that direction, winding all the way out there around that wood line. And here's a sign for our Joseph Plum Martin Trail. So we're kind of moving from, you know, a concrete and then this path keeps going straight across. I'm not sure what that is, but this sign, this is the trail. So we're gonna go ahead and take this turn and head up this hill towards the sign and hope to God I'm going the right way. It feels like it's looping back to where I parked so I feel good about this sign in this turn. So we'll, we'll see what happens. It's strange that these days I actually prefer I think the uphill portions more than the downhill portions. I feel more muscles hurting when I'm going downhill this is pretty steep right here. There are so many places to park a car here. You could start this loop from just about anywhere in the park. Another pretty cool cabin structure here. Wood and sod, I think. <laughs> Seem to be some cannons right across the way here so I'm gonna cut through looks like there is a path down here go around this cabin and yeah we're actually gonna cut off of our trail to get take a look at these cannons over here cold and windy in the fields of Valley Forge today Add muddy through here, by the way. Go around this mud.
see the cannons. Gonna make my way back across this field onto my loop trail. I'm sticking to my loop trail because I don't really know my way around here necessarily. And I don't want to get lost out here in Valley Forge National Park. It's a beautiful area, but I wouldn't want to get stuck out here necessarily. So, time to get back on my trail. <laughs> I think we're entering the home stretch of this hike. And I say that because far off in the distance, I can see the Washington Chapel that was probably just a few hundred yards into our hike. So I think this trail is gonna sort of come up behind the parking lot where I parked at and potentially that's the end of the loop and it sure will be for me um, but it seems like we are definitely heading that direction back towards the chapel back towards where we started so several miles down just a little bit left to go Let's see if there's anything else any other historical sites on the trail from here on out, or we can just take in the beauty of these rolling fields and hills here. You can see that building right there. Just off in the distance, I believe that's my parking lot up there. Got some really cool cannons right here again. cabin houses they were just down the hill from my parking lot these hills these fields fighting trying to survive the craziest thing to me is is that they were fighting for a sort of an unknown at the time something that definitely had no guaranteed outcome no guaranteed success To give you an idea I'm about two hours and 15 minutes into this hike um, when my legs are moving I like to make good time but remember I'm stopping to film things I'm stopping to take pictures there's more to my trips than just walking the trails I like to explore I like to get my camera out Closing in on completing the Joseph Plum Martin Trail Loop around Valley Forge National Historic Park here in southeastern PA. I found myself slowing down towards the end of the loop, not from fatigue, but because I really didn't want it to end. I had such a great time soaking in the beauty of Valley Forge that I couldn't admit this hike was almost over. And the hike with a little bit of elevation. There's the trail as it snakes away. Covered a lot of ground. The whole way out there, you can see that ridge top. We've hiked the whole way around there. So two and a half good hours of hiking. You're gonna see some old buildings. You're gonna see some of the log cabins. It's a valley, all right. It's a rolling valley, rolling hills. It's a beautiful place. Joseph Palm Martin Trail. View of the valley.
fact, he's just looking right out at all this beauty that is Valley Forge. This kind of gives you a view of the park and how vast it really is. And the trail that we took, I mean, you know, we started here and we went all the way around. That's the visitor center. We went around the outside of that, all the way around here. Followed this trail all the way back. So we literally Loop the entire park in two and a half hours. Pretty awesome. That's a wrap on my day in Valley Forge. Cold, windy, early spring day. It's actually still winter here in Valley Forge, PA. Joseph Plum Martin Trail. You know, it's a great hike. Flat, paved, a little bit of up and down in terms of the hills, but nice and paved, even. It's gonna get you around this whole park, basically. And it's gonna show you a lot of the history that's going on, a lot of the views, this beautiful view of Valley Forge behind me. I'm not gonna forget this view right here. Um, it's definitely a unique area of the state. And uh, I'm just happy to be down here for my first ever visit. You know, I couldn't be happier with the day. And it was just so cool to see the old buildings um, the old log structures, the stone buildings. Give this trail a run. If you have even part of a day, like I said, two and a half hours is really all you need. If you have part of a day, come out here, do the loop. You know, there's quite a few people on it today for, you know, a cold, cloudy day. I bet in the warmer months and the warmer weather, this trail gets even busier and uh, you're gonna wanna get here and get around it probably before the crowds come out. Um, but overall, everybody was very friendly, very nice. People move off the trail for each other. Um, you know, like I said, I'm stopping to talk and take pictures and take videos um, and, and actually just explore some of the stuff that's happening in this park. So um, two and a half hours is going to get you around here pretty well um, and still allow you to see some of what's happening here in Valley Forge. I'm getting ready to get out of the wind here. Uh, I'm gonna go visit my buddy Nick Moe, who lives close to this area. Go grab a drink, rest my legs a little bit, and then it's off to the next adventure. You're watching PA Native. Say a final goodbye to Valley Forge National Park. <laughs>